Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm KJ. Um, so this video, I just want to sort of uh, debrief a Harney and Sons order that I got um, recently and kind of just unbox it and do some first impressions with you guys. The tea of the month is a 12 month subscription. It's $19.50 per month, free shipping as always. I think it turns out to be like $234 for the year, but again, you only get charged like $20 a month. Um, you get two teas per month, two, two ounces worth, um, and I'm guessing they usually come in tens. So, um, it came with some other things that I ordered. It was a much more, uh, presentably packaged box. There's a tissue paper and a nice Harney and Sons sticker. Um, and then, so since I've already begun to break it down a little bit, some of this stuff's all over the place, but in this nice little protection plastic, um, there is this small booklet about tea of the month. Um, and then there's a little sort of half sheet about what your teas are. Um, yeah, we'll go from there. So <laughs> I actually think this is a little bit off, but I'll read to you just this first page and give you a summary of what's on the next pages. So from tea to gar <laughs> from tea garden to tea club. <laughs> In 1983, John Harney embarked on a mission to share his passion for tea. Harney & Sons offers a selection of over 300 varieties of the highest quality teas. The Harney family source our teas from the most reputable established estates and tea gardens worldwide, accepting only the exceptional. We look forward to sharing our tea and our knowledge with you. The next page goes over types of tea. Um, there's white tea, oolong tea, black tea, green tea, and flavored tea. And they kind of tell you a little bit about like the geographical background and a little bit of how the tea is harvested. Um, they talk a little bit about the science of tea, but because science is more complex, I don't expect this little page to be the end all. But the, the blurb says each major type of tea can be made from the same tea leaves. The difference between them comes as a result of how they are processed after harvesting. Processes such as withering, rolling, or oxidizing have an effect excuse me, on the eventual color, aroma, briskness, briskness, and flavor of the tea. Sorry, I'm drinking tea. <laughs> it's like, slow down. Um, okay, then there's a page about the flavor of tea, mm. where um, it says, flavor begins in the fields. Scientists have identified over 600 flavors and aromas in tea derived from only six classes of chemical compounds that reside in the tea plant. And those six classes include fatty acids, sugars, polyphenols, caffeine, amino acids, and color pigment pigments. Okay, and then the last page is the art of making a perfect cup of tea. Oh, that's a nice picture. So that includes the quality of the tea, fresh and pure water, condition and freshness, and the brewing of a perfect cup. So that's cute. Um, so then again, I said, it kind of tells you, uh, your teas of the month. So this sheet says your tea of the month is gingerbread festival and celebration. Hmm. You'll see why I'm making this face in a second. Then they give you another little sheet about gingerbread festival and celebration. So gingerbread festival is our newest blend in the holiday collection. Elvira has concocted a very special blend of black tea, natural molasses flavor, and spice. Believe it or not, there is some ginger there too. And then Celebration has been part of the holiday collection for many years. It is a black tea with fruit flavors and just a bit of spice. And then they tell you how to brew it. <laughs> this is going to get interesting, guys. <laughs> um... So the two samples with this are organic green tea with mint, which I've had before, reliable, nice quality. Oh, and then this one I haven't tried before, pomegranate oolong. So I like pomegranate. I don't know. Oolong and fruit teas are like hit or miss to me, but I'm working on it. Um, okay, so let me show you why I was laughing. <laughs> because you guys saw and I read to you that my tea of the month was supposed to be gingerbread festival and celebration, but actually... It's golden genmaicha <laughs> and holiday tea. <laughs> Two completely different things. 
So in Horny and Sun's defense, holiday tea is in the category of celebration and gingerbread festival. And thankfully they did not send another ten of gingerbread festival because I do have a nearly full one. Um, but I have had this holiday tea and I don't know how easy it is for me to be able to drink this whole tin fast. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> but this golden genmaicha. Oh, that's what I want to talk about. So, huh, there's not much here. Just brewing instructions for the different types of tea. The little boy we bought Harney, um, John Harney in 1983. But I'm gonna cut this, this open and see what this tea looks like and smells like. Oh, that's different. So in the tin, it's actually vacuum sealed in this. Ooh, that's, oh, this is getting good, guys. This is getting real good. What? Oh, ho, ho, ho. What? That's cool. So, golden genmaicha. You can see the puffed rice. It smells of puffy rice. This one will be interesting nonetheless. And also it'll help me sort of transition to adding less, less, um, it's not blended the word I'm looking for, the flavor teas to my palate to sort of refine it a little bit. So, aha, that's not all. <laughs> and this, oh my God, this is like the cutest, like hybrid paper, but like burlap wrap. So it definitely feels like really thick paper towel and it's brown, but I don't know, that's actually nice. Um, and there's a box. Hmm, what's in the box? So. Uh, uh, opening it with scissors. Carefully, carefully. Okay. So. I'm pretty sure that I read at the beginning when I first ordered this that you receive a teapot at the start of your tea of the month um, subscription. And so look how cute that is. I'm pretty sure this is probably like 16 ounces, maybe 14. And it actually did come with a strainer, but there's so much like stuffing and cardboard that I totally missed it. So if this is the teapot, this is the top that comes off, and then this is the cute little strainer. That's like actually really ergonomic and super impressive. Um, and it fits, so if you see there's like a little gap off of the teapot, it fits right on there like that. Super cool. Of course, I like the Harney & Sons logo. It's just plain white. It's like small and petite. So that's cute. Um, and I think it'll also help me brew this um, golden uh, genmaicha or genmaica. I don't know. They have two different types of subscription subscriptions. <laughs> subscriptions. One's loose and the other one's tea bag. And so maybe they do a mug with a tea bag. But I'm gonna look back. I don't know if I'm gonna inquire about whether or not like where the wrong tea of the month came from. Um, but I'll let you know. Otherwise, thank you for watching. If you guys have Harney and Sun subscriptions, let me know like what you think if you still have them or if you had it and then you stopped. Um, this is my first month, so I'm just like, I don't even know, like, is this what to expect every month? Just full tins of tea. I think the only other person that I know that has it is Kayla over at Kayla's Kitchen. Um, but still lots of points of curiosity. So thanks for watching. I am excited. <laughs> what was that little yelp? <laughs> um, okay, I'm rambling. Bye!